Hello, so in this one I want to show you some things about Crescent and Slash that I did in the build guide but didn't show you. So I just leveled up my alt, I didn't even spend my rune master, rune master levels. And what I want to show you is two things. So first thing is, is gonna be watch a Sigla Crema. And then I'm gonna want to show you how does the damage scale with the shoulders, the composer, contradiction, and how it scales with Warrior Shadow. So Let's start with Watcher Stick Lacrima. So what I want to show you is how much range you can actually acquire. Right now I'm running default craft. There is no weapon range in it. And my Watcher Stick Lacrima is active. So if I start hitting, you can see how much range I get at 10 stacks of Watcher Lacrima. It's basically becomes widescreen. So Watcher Stick Lacrima is more about map clearing then it gives you more damage that's main thing but because crescent slash is so good you don't need to have an offensive lacrima you can have utility one just for the range itself so this is this one is with default weapon but i can show you something more interesting i can show you with something like uh, uh unrequited love which has 500 weapon range on default and i can show you with piercing eye so this is how it looks like with tier 27. It's insane amount of range at 10 stacks. And it gets even it's it, uh, it gets even worse, but I mean it gets even better if you use piercing eye, but I do not recommend to use these weapons by the way. This is only just for the showcase. Yeah, this is with piercing eye. It's it's over my screen. I'm on full HD 1080p. And I can't even see the edge of the of the crescent slash itself. But I would say if you have watch a stick lacrima in your if you have watch a stick lacrima, I do not recommend to use this big weapon weapon range uh, weapons. I would say just better get like a good craft and use a good craft because you don't need as much range with that. This range is more than enough to actually clear your maps because what, what's happening is that you don't have enough movement speed to actually outrun your weapon range. So it makes more sense this way. So basically that's it about the Lacrima itself. I think this is the best one you can have on Crescent Slash as you don't need that as much, as much damage. And what else I want you to show you is my damage scaling with uh, some of these items. So let's pick up the base one right now. I'm gonna show you on ranking challenge as I only need the base of the damage. I'm doing fire and convert it to fire, so let's do that. Let's just check the base. I'm not gonna even use my fighters right as it's low level, it has nothing absolutely. My skill bot is basically non-existent right now. And they don't have any good crops, I'm running like all the unique items, I didn't do anything else. I just leveled it up. So this is basically my base damage. So I'm not gonna do it fully cause it's gonna be really easy to see. So I'm gonna remove my decomposer contradiction right now. And let's check my damage right now. Cause this is, this is what matters, right? As a lot of people have questions, is that, is those shoulders good? And as you can see, those shoulders are insanely good. It's insane amount of amp. I was doing 1.1 bill, right now I barely do 700 mil. So yeah, you, you, you have to use those shoulders. You can't pick up any other shoulders that are gonna give you that much damage. Plus it adds insane amount of map clear. Yeah, we can do some math. This is okay, so what? So let's say it's 800, right? 800 divided by 1.1. And those shoulders is 27% amp, basically. It adds 27% overall damage to your build. So that with the shoulders. And we can check with Warrior Shadow. I mean, probably people know that Warrior Shadow is still really good, but maybe they don't realize how much is good. So my damage was 1.1. Let's check how much I'm doing right now. Yeah, it's nothing. My damage just went to nothing at all. 
So yeah, that's that's the thing, right? That's how good Warrior Shadow is. I mean, you can equip any other any other link. The difference is gonna not gonna be as much. But I can tell you right now, no other link is gonna give you that much damage. So this is what I wanted to show you: the damage scaling of those of those items and the range on that Lacrima. And how it's it's basically necessary for this build. My skill bot is the same that I showed on the on my build guide. So convert fire, ignition explosion. The reason I'm converting it to fire is just my preference, so I could use this lacrima, right? That's the main idea. You don't have to do convert, you can do like physical or any other convert. Plus, ignition explosion is really good link. It gives you a lot of amp. And at the same time, it gives you crit damage and crit rate, so it works really well. It's one of the one of the best links you can have. It's on par with Deadly Poison, by the way. If you convert to Poison, Deadly Poison link works also really well. Yeah, this is what I'm running. I even right now, what I could do, that's the thing, right? I forgot to mention that. I have concentrated weapon range. This one. This big boy is gonna give you decent amount of damage but at the same time you're gonna lose quite a bit of range but i would say if you are running uh, watch a stick and you have just a because i'm not running any any zo any nodes with i'm running a few nodes but not too many with every effect by the way i didn't pick up uh, insane ones i didn't pick up uh, where is where is that one This is area with weapon range. I mean weapon range, weapon range, weapon range. What am I saying? Weapon. And it's right there. Yeah, I'm not even running rock collision because I don't need it. But what could you do? You could pick up a little bit more weapon range nodes and pick up considered weapon range. This one gives you insane amount of uh, damage, by the way. It's, it's better than um, Savagery. And... I would say this weapon range, depending on how fast you are, it's not bad, considering that you get quite a bit more damage out of this. We can check. Let it, let's do it for, for a few seconds. I, you need to do it a little bit longer. Right now it doesn't look that much, but it should be around 10%, a little bit more than 10% amp or so from changing that. But this is just min-maxing, it's up to you. I would say running Savagery early into the game still makes more sense as what you're looking for. A little bit more weapon range is gonna do you, make you do maps a little bit faster. The damage itself, the pe it's, it's damage, just, damage scaling is really easy. So it doesn't matter that much, but just wanted to show you, yeah, it's a little bit of a difference, right? So it was 118, right now it's 128, it's around 8% amp, but it, it's gonna di differentiate from build to build, because uh, my weapon range is actually awakened to weapon range amplification, but you, you want to go source actually on this one, source is gonna be really good. Even Verity could be good depending, but you need a high roll on this. 5% roll, by default is 5% damage jump by the way. If you roll 5% in here, it's 5% damage jump on default. And if you have some charms for maximized damage, you can have it, you can have a lot more. But Source is a good default one. It still dampens your weapon range, but that difference is not gonna do that much. It's not gonna decrease that much from what you have already. But yeah, this is basically what I wanted to show you to maybe understand the build a little bit more. And this is the alt that I did over the weekend, basically, just to sh just for the Crescent Slash. I have some other builds in mind. I want to do Throw Explosive, but probably that one gonna have to wait a little bit, as I'm probably gonna play some other games in the meantime. But yeah, GG's, and see you in the next one. Have fun.